Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I received this message today, March 18th, um, but it's now March 19th at like 2 11 in the morning. Um, the Lord would not let me post this tomorrow. I don't know what's going on guys, but, um, I went out to dinner tonight with a friend, um, for her birthday. And after dinner, we went and got dessert and in the middle of the dessert, you know, the spirit came over me strong and just started giving me a message. And then when, um, I got in the car after we were done eating the dessert, I talked text while I drove home with so much words and so much scripture. God is literally pouring his heart out and he's trying to wake up his children and there's so many people that they don't believe and they think that I have something to gain. Guys, I don't. I don't gain anything. Jesus is my Lord. He's my God. I claim that he came and died for us on the cross and that he rose on the third day. The telegram and the um, WhatsApp are scams, so ignore those guys. All right, here's the message. It's very long. March 18th, 2023. Deuteronomy 3.6. And we utterly destroyed them as we did to see Sihon, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. 1 Peter 2.4. Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God and precious. Philippians 3, 7, but what things were gained to me, these I have counted lost for Christ. Job 9, 8, he alone spreads out the heavens and treads on the waves of the sea. Genesis 7, 11, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. Guys, I was driving texting my child Nibiru and SpaceX does not meet the eye wormwood I told you it will come it's soon and third of the people will die trains my child more trains are coming Kentucky New Mexico Ireland New Jersey they are all going to derail New England church on fire Christian protest and persecution Wake up, my child. Wake up. Time is almost up. My door is closing. Don't you know I'm coming for you, that my word is true? Everything that I have said shall come to pass. Are my timelines the same? Do you even understand it? Do you even know what it's all about? You are broken, my child, and you are so busy caught up in your neighbor's business that you don't even see the speck in your own eye. You are deceitful and wicked. You search the scriptures and you act like you know me, but you don't. I have a sword coming for you. Death will swallow you up. There's no more mercy for your souls. My time is coming to an end and my patience has run out. I will no longer withhold the desires of the devil infiltrated in you and you speak blasphemy. You scoff at your neighbor and you just won't quit. Where's the love? Where's the love in your heart? Where's the love for your neighbor? How dare you twist all of my words? Do you even know what my words really mean? Are you so stubborn and wicked to see the truth? Your eyes seek tautiness, your hearts seek blood and revenge. You will not escape my wrath. My chosen ones escape my wrath and they know that I'm coming for them. Even the elite knows that I'm coming for them. Why do you think they have their bunkers ready? Do you have any idea what's coming for you? Wormwood, do you think this is all a coincidence? No, it's written in my word. I'm giving you chance after chance to repent, to change your mind and come to me. I'm giving you chance after chance to believe in me. I wish for no one to perish. I love all of my children, but this evil sick me and poisons the mind of my children. It must be stopped. Your souls are weak. Your souls are lost. My prophets speak truth. All of them look at their fruits. You will know who my real prophets are by the words they speak. If anyone speaks that I'm not coming for them and my will is for my children to suffer persecution and tribulation, it is not of me. 
They may have once been chosen by me, but they are no longer receiving my words. They need to continue to test every spirit, every message. The devil is on the prowl and he is whispering in my children's ears and he's lying to them. He is full of trickery and deceit. He will stop at nothing until every single soul is perished. He doesn't forgive. He doesn't love. He is full of jealousy and animosity and he pretends to be loving and kind, but he is the opposite of love. He is... <sighs> He is the opposite of my truth, and he will destroy every last one of you if you let him. Pray to me. Believe in me. Worship me. Let me give you truths. Be guided by the Holy Spirit. He will steer you in the right direction. If you decide not to believe in me, sadly, you will fall. The whole world will fall. There's no more time. Are you awake yet? You have been warned. My bride, my children, my elect, my chosen ones, your days will be shortened. You have nothing to fear. You are awake, but so many of you are still asleep. Wake up, O oh sleeper, time is up. The groom came and the people slept. The wise virgins had remained full of oil in their lamps. Sadly, the rest are too late. Lord, Lord, let us in. But I never knew you. Pray to me so you can see the truth. Why can't you see the love I have for all of you? Why can't you see that I'm pouring out my heart to you? Why do you deny me over and over and over again? I created you. I shed my blood for you. I died for you. And yet you still do not believe. Where are your hearts, my children? Where are your hearts? Wake up. I am coming. I am coming. My trumpets are going to sound. I am coming like a thief in the night and you will not know what happened and you will be devastated and left in despair and you will cry out to me but it will be too late because the door has closed and the only way to receive another opening to me is to die for my glory and refuse the mark. The beast system is set up behind the scenes. It is ready to go and once the strainer is moved once my church is gone it will be in full effect and fully enforced why can't you see that i'm pouring my heart out to you why can't you see that i'm trying to save you why do you wish for my wrath to come upon you my chosen ones they have suffered they have lost they have been broken yet they do not deny me they still believe and they still follow me the devil stole their peace and their life was falling apart heart but they stayed true to me and they worship me and for that reason they will inherit their reward in heaven because they solely trusted in me i will protect them my words are true my words are final and i use my people to warn you i use my people to spread my words to share my words to save my children my people who share the good news from the prophets from the dreamers from the visionaries they share my good news to wake up my children that is the gift i chose for them i have chosen many gifts for my children i have no favorites it's all according to my purpose and my plan from the beginning chosen and precious and ready to honor my will <sighs> matthew 27 6 but the chief priest took the silver pieces and said it's not lawful to put them into the treasury because they are the price of blood Matthew 25, 4. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Matthew 25, 9. But the wise answered, saying, No less there should be not be enough for us and you, but rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. Acts 2, 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prosper prophesy your young men shall see visions your old men shall dream dreams Joel 1 5 awake you drunkards and weep and wail all you drinkers of wine because of the new wine for it has been cut off from your mouth 
Colossians 1 7, as you learn from me, pay for us our dear fellow servant who is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf. Ecclesiastes 3 5, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. 2 Thessalonians 3 5, now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and to the patience of Christ. 2 Thessalonians 2 5, do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? Ecclesiastes 7 3 sorrow is better than laughter for by a sad countenance the heart is made better deuteronomy eleven five. what he did for you in the wilderness until you came to this place and here's another message <sighs> guys for the people who <laughs> who don't believe please please believe guys i'm not that great of an actress okay God is literally pouring his spirit out on me. The Prince of Peace is calling you home. I am calling you home. I have sounded the warnings. I do nothing without revealing it to my prophets first. The ones who don't know me, I see you. I know your burdens. I know your pain. If you come to me, I will give you rest. I will give you peace. I will give you comfort. If you come to me and believe in me and confess with your mouth that I am Lord, I will save you. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. I am Lord. There is no escaping from that believe in me let me save you my child you do not you you who do not know me confess your sins to me believe in me i wish for no one to perish i want to save you i love you my children i love you and my heart is broken and i'm the only one who can save you i am the truth the way the life nobody can come to the father except through me if you have seen me you have seen the father wake up my children there's no more time 2 Thessalonians 3, 8, nor do we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but work with labor and toil night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. Romans 3, 9, what then? Are we better than they? Not at all, for we have previously charged both Jews and Greeks that they are all under sin. Romans 7, 8, but sin taking opportunity by the commandment produced in me all manner of evil desire, for apart from the law, sin was dead. 1 John 1, 5, this is a message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Philippians 1, 4, always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you all with joy. John 4, 11, the woman said to him, sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where then did you get that living water? John 5, 10, the Jews therefore said to him who was cured, it's the Sabbath. It's not the lawful for you to... It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. Revelation 8, 7. The first angel sounded and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth. And the third of the trees were burned up and all green grass was burned up. Revelation 8, 11. The name of the stars, Wormwood. A third of the waters became Wormwood and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. And Numbers 5, 9. Or I'm sorry, Numbers 9, 5. And they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month at twilight in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all the Lord that commanded Moses. So the children of Israel did. Guys, the Lord hasn't shook me like this in a while. Other than that morning when he said, wake up, there's no more time. There's no more time. I'm coming. But guys, he's still shaking me right now. Guys, please, this is not a joke, okay? I don't gain anything. I have lost my job. I lost my church. I take people scoffing and mocking me almost every day. I don't monetize my channel. I gave up country music. People say that I didn't make it in music. I, I made it pretty far, guys. I was signed in Nashville. And then I got signed to Solaris Entertainment. <sighs> He's still shaking me. <sighs> and...
And he's saying, my child, tell them there's no more time. There's no more time. Guys, I don't know what all this means, okay? I'm just being obedient to Jesus. I can't understand any of this, you know, and why this started happening to me December 30th. But it's not a joke. Guys, you know, I, I prayed to Jesus for an entire year. I asked him, I said, Jesus, I said, I will give up everything for you. I will give up it all. I said, I will give up country music. And just worship you and just sing your songs. Guys, all I wanted to ever do was sing since I was a child. That's all I ever knew. You can ask anyone. My dad died in 2019 and my sister died and... You know, the Lord just put it on my heart to, to go do something else. And so I did. I stepped out on faith. I stopped becoming a server. I went into real estate. The Lord blessed me in real estate. For the people who think that it's a demon and all that. I mean, guys... You would have to be around me. You'd have to know my life and, and what I've given up for Jesus. <clears throat> I mean, the things is, if it was a demon, I would continue my bad habits because no one's perfect. You know, I would shop, shop, overly shop. Because when my sister and my dad died, you know, I bought things to stop my grieving. And then after they died, you know, the C word happened in 2020. And then I got pregnant and I lost the baby. And then I got pregnant again and I lost another baby. Yet, even after all of that, I have never once denied Jesus. I've never once blamed him because I know that his plan is greater than ours and we all we all have our hurt we all have our pain and there's people out there that completely judge me completely say really hurtful things that aren't true at all but I still love those people and I pray for those people and God still loves those people and that's why these messages are so important because he's trying to wake you up you can ask my friends okay they were at dinner with me tonight they saw how I received the message from Jesus I'm not special. God chose me because he knew that I would be obedient and he knew that I didn't know a lot about the Bible. I mean, I've read the entire thing three and a half times, but I don't have it memorized. And I can't recite words. There's like maybe a I'm learning a lot more now that he's been giving me messages since December 30th that I don't know where anything is. There's maybe like four scriptures that I have memorized and he never really uses them. I can't, I can't explain it, guys. Um, all I can say is, please, guys, time is running out. You know, what's crazy is somebody tagged me today and or they sent me an email and they said NASA just announced that there is a huge, huge meteorite coming. I think on March 25th, and that's the day before my birthday. And I wonder if that's Wormwood. I don't know if it is. I'm not sure. I mean, I do know the, the waters turn bitter. Or maybe warm word is what's happening right now with all the 
the derailments and poisoning the water and stuff. I don't know. But I do know, guys, when I drove home tonight, it's like God took over. I'm talking in the text. And if you were in the car with me, you would see that I'm not lying. I talk into my phone and the urgency in my words and how he just got louder and louder, not yelling at me, but intense. He loves you. You know, they've lied about so many things. The elite, they have lied because they don't want you to believe in him. They don't. So they created all these things so you wouldn't believe in him. But if you would just look at what's happening and then you would read his word, you will see that this is all coming. And guys, I would not do this, believe me. I would not do this unless, um, unless I 100% believed. After I get these messages, I ask for confirmation in my head. I get scriptures, more scriptures. Confirming it, guys. And, you know, he's like, my child, I, I need you to post this tonight. I need you to post this tonight. So, I don't know. And I don't know why he gives me random things, guys. Maybe he's just trying to get people to believe. But I'll tell you what, I know these words aren't me because there's words that I don't even know that I look up, like Talti. I had to look that up. <sighs> Inf infiltrated, I had to look that one up too. <sighs> I'm sorry, I made this video long because I don't know how many more videos we're gonna have. Guys, please, if you are the one out there that's on the fence about Jesus, now is the time to get on your knees and pray to him and ask him to come into your life. Ask him to save you. If you don't know him, confess your sins to him. Believe and confess in your mouth that he's Lord and he will save you. Because one way or the other, guys, every knee is going to bow to him. And it's coming. So the sooner you realize it, the better off you'll be. And like I said, guys, you know, my whole business is based on my reputation. <laughs> why? Just think, just think, why would I do this if I didn't believe it? Why? What would I have to gain? Okay, and some people said, you know, it's singing. Well, what if it was singing? Guys, <laughs> the negativity out there, I mean... I'm not gaining anything. The thing is, you know, your words hurt and stuff, but I still love you. And I don't want you to perish. And I know that the ones that, you know, come with correction and love, I'm not talking about you guys. But the ones that are just rude and calling out and and not just me, you know, you're doing it to a lot of his prophets. And it's just a horrible thing to do. It's not what Jesus would do. So have a heart. 
if you knew me at all, you would know that I have nothing to gain. And I'm not doing this for myself. It's my heart, guys, and I believe. Here it is, like, after 2 a.m. I didn't go to sleep. I was obedient. Because Jesus asked me to. Because I feel his sadness. Feel his love. I feel his anger. Guys, he's angry. He's angry. And it's sad. It's sad because all you have to do is believe and all you have to do is trust. Why do you make it so difficult? You're gonna know sooner or later. And he's told me, he's told me that everything he said is gonna come to pass. Whether some of it has already come to pass, but the rest of it, there's reason he speaks these words. So, Listen to them. Write them down. Ask him for understanding. Ask Jesus. He will give you understanding. I can't give you those unless he gives it to me. I just speak what I hear. And like I said, it's thoughts. It's thoughts that just pour in my head, convicted by the Holy Spirit. And unless you had a vision or a spiritual gift, you won't understand. So you have to go to Jesus for understanding. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. And, uh, you know, I think really quick. Someone had mentioned, you know, when I was talking about the skiing thing and I um, said, oh, I hope I don't get raptured on the hill. I mean, I was joking, but at the same time, of course, I want to be raptured. I want to be with Jesus. I want to be at the wedding feast. So, I mean, you know, I, there was no deceit there. I was just basically saying I never ski and, you know, if we are going to be raptured, you know. It's possible that could be going down the hill and getting raptured. I mean, it was more of a, a joke because I, you know, I'm human. I'm not God. So I'm not perfect. And the things that I say don't always come out the way I want them to say. But it just seems like there's so many people that dissect every little thing that I say. They don't listen to my words. I told you. I'm a re-re most of the time. I'm, you know, like, I have a million blonde moments. <laughs> I, I can make fun of myself. <laughs> so don't listen to me. Just listen to his words and, and his scriptures, guys, because they're not for me. <laughs> I'm not that intellectual. <laughs> so, all right. I think I've made fun of myself enough. You guys have a blessed day. I love you. Trust in Jesus. He loves you. God bless.